we're going to draw the Lewis structure for SF2, that's sulfur difluoride. Now, the first thing to note is that sulfur and fluorine are in the upper right-hand portion of the periodic table. They're both non-metals, and that means when they bond together, they'll form a molecular compound. That means that they're going to share electrons with each other, as opposed to an ionic compound where the electrons would be transferred from a metal to a non-metal. So I'm going to count up the number of valence electrons that this molecule is going to have. That's the number of electrons we're going to have to include in our structure. Sulfur is going to bring six valence electrons with it. And each of the fluorines is going to bring seven electrons with it. But there are two of them, so don't forget to multiply that seven by two. Two times seven is 14 electrons from the fluorines and the extra six from sulfur is 20 electrons total. To actually draw the structure, I put the atom that I think goes in the center in the center, and I surround it with the other stuff, the two fluorines in this case. I single bond the central atom to all the outer atoms, and then I fill the octet of the outer atoms. Here I already have two electrons on this fluorine, but I need a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, eighth to complete the octet and satisfy its craving for the octet rule, having eight electrons around it. And then I gotta do the same for this F, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Now I've satisfied the octet rule for both of those fluorines. But how many electrons have I actually put down here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. I need 20 total. Where do you put the extra electrons when the octets of all of the outer atoms have already been filled? The answer is you just dump them on the center atom. 17, 18, 19, 20. That's it. Now, if your central atom does not have eight electrons around it yet, you're probably going to have to move lone pairs from outer atoms into bonds to make double bonds, triple bonds, etc., just so that that central atom does have eight electrons around it, but this sulfur already does. Wow, great job. I want to point out the sulfur in molecules like SF4 and SF6 violate the octet rule by having 10 or 12, an expanded octet, but this one does not. This is the Lewis structure for SF2. Full octet on all the atoms. You can't do anything to make the atoms happier than that. Congratulations, you did it. And best of luck.